Hey guys. So we've been getting quite a few comments on our Facebook page and our various advertising posts for our wiener pigs that people are concerned about keeping pigs over the winter time. I've heard people say it's impossible. I've heard people say that based on the research, it's just way too hard to keep pigs in the winter time. And I just wanted to take this video to put your mind at ease and let you guys know that keeping pigs over the winter isn't as hard as you may think. So some of the concerns that I have heard are that they don't have fences in place and they are not sure how they can build fence during the winter time because you can't pound posts when the ground are frozen. So let's get into that first. Um, one of the easiest fences that we have actually found for our pigs and we've built it in the winter time and kept pigs in it during the winter time is just a simple pallet fence. You can pick pallets up for free at any hardware store or a lot of stores in town. They're just sitting out back, you grab them. And all you gotta do is take a drill and screw the pallets together. You put about four pallets on each side, make a square pen. You can also make a little shelter on the one corner of the pen and fill it with straw and you're good to go. So that pallet pen, we have raised pigs in there until they're butcher weight and they have no problem staying in. It's a nice solid pen. They're able to scratch themselves on it. It actually just, it works really well. So if you're looking for a cheap, easy to build and movable pen that you can take down after you're done with it, a pallet pen might be something to look into. We have hog panels for our personal uh, pens that we keep our breeding sows and our boar in, but that's just our own preference. We could still be using pallet pens if we chose to. So don't count out a pallet pen. They will work just fine for you in the winter time and you can build them in the winter time. Okay, um, another concern that I've had is will my pigs escape in the winter time with a pallet pen? My answer is maybe, but it's highly unlikely. So when the ground is frozen, the pigs have a much harder time rooting. So they can't dig around and dig under the fence. They can't dig big holes because the ground is frozen. So I find it's actually a lot easier to keep your pigs in their fence in the winter time. So if you're worried about escapees, you'll have less of a problem in the winter than you will in the summer, usually. And let's go into another concern is, how do I provide water to my pigs during the winter? So what we do here on Burnt River Ranch is we use rubber troughs and we fill those up once a day. We give the pigs just the amount that they will drink during that day and they drink it up in that one sitting, takes them about two minutes to drink their fill and then that's all the water they get for the day. So we don't want them mucking around in the water and getting cold and we also don't want to be wasting water. We haul water on our ranch and every drop counts so for them to waste water is not good and so we just try to give them just the amount that they will drink. And the rubber troughs are great because you can kick them, you can hit them against the fence, whatever, and they don't break like a plastic, a hard plastic trough would. So those are great for getting the ice out in the winter time. Um, they're pretty durable. They're not indestructible. They do need replacing once in a while, but they are really good for pigs. They last a long time and they hold up to the elements. So that's what we do. I know I've seen a lot of people use like a big plastic barrel with nipples on the bottom and then a submersible heater. And I've heard lots of people have good luck with that. It's not something we've personally tried. However, I will note that I have also heard that people have trouble with those nipples freezing when it gets to around minus 30, minus 40, but they just take a hair dryer in the morning, unthaw those nipples and they're good for the rest of the day. So that's an option worth considering. Um, shelter for pigs. People get worried about that because pigs don't have a big fur coat like horses and cows and dogs and cats do, but they do surprisingly well in the winter time. They have a pretty hefty layer of fat around them and if you give them enough bedding, they actually do really well. So I've seen a lot of farmers will just give their uh, pigs just a big straw bale and they're able to burrow themselves into it and keep warm that way and then they just replace the straw as needed. So that's an option if you don't have a shelter in place. We prefer to use shelters on our ranch. Not saying it's necessary, but it's just something that we prefer to do. 
So if you can have just a three-sided shelter and just shove that thing full of straw, you should be good to go. And you don't have to build anything fancy. Pigs are fairly destructive. So it's a good idea to just use cheaper materials anyways. So if you could just use some thicker rough cut boards or even some pallets and make a roof out of pallets or some old boards or kind of whatever you have laying around, some old tin, and then stuff it full of straw, that will suffice for sure. Um, so that is something that I wouldn't be too concerned about. And like I was saying before, we haul water. So we just use a sled and put our jugs of water in it and slide it over to the pigs and it's really not that big of a deal. The way I look at it is I have to come out twice a day and do chores anyway. I have to collect eggs, I have to feed the chickens, I have to make sure that the lights are on in the chicken coop and make sure the horses have water. I have to feed the horses twice a day anyways so I'm out here anyways and watering the pigs is just one extra little thing to do so for me it's not a big deal it only takes a few minutes so yeah if you guys are considering keeping pigs in the winter I highly recommend it I find it actually quite a bit easier and less messy the pigs stay cleaner they don't get out as much you can build a cheap pen out of pallets or really whatever you have laying around they can stay in an old shed as long as it's good enough that they can't get out, there's no holes in it or anything. But yeah, don't be concerned about getting pigs in the winter. It's not as hard as you think. And if you guys have any other questions about keeping pigs at all, or even just keeping pigs over the winter or whatever, I will do my best to help you out. So thank you again for watching and we appreciate you guys taking all the time that you have watching our channel and supporting us and supporting our farm. So we hope you take care. Thanks, bye. Make sure it's done.